Hello, my lovely Leo. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Leo, I welcome you to the second part of this month of April. And let's see here. A bi-weekly energy from the time you view till the end of the April or from the 15th to the end of the April. So here we are, loves, right before the full moon in Libra, which, you know, Libra have been ruled by Venus, then that, you know, heartless energy, relationship energy. And many of you, especially for those Leos who are running around a lot or doing certain things quite like strongly here and there, yes, we are forgetting we are in Aries season, which gives us that opportunity to take action, go forward, bring it on. Libra whatsoever slow these energies. And in a good way, most likely it's slowing down because it's giving you that take a breath, take some time for you, analyze, are you in a balanced, stable energy or do not? Think about loves. So let's see, general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Science and Venus, the Borderless deck of the Raider White, which we will look into in just a few. And we'll start with Moonology deck. The Moonology deck, it's one of the decks I am feeling very connected and close to. And the new moons and the full moons are one of the proper deck to be looking at. So we have full moon in Scorpio. Full moon in Scorpio will have next month. So as we speak right now, by the full moon in Scorpio, it's time to release some negativity. And in a big, big picture is release what is not beneficial to you in your life or regards whomever you are surrounding with. The next card that we we have the new moon eclipse expect powerful change you know once we do some cleanup we have new energy it's a refresh it's like a room when you have a couch which is a filthy one and you feel like oh i'm just like done with this take it out clean the room open up the windows and the door you'll feel like refresh and now it's kind of like okay Let's get a new one. That's kind of a thing here for some of you. Royal Refresh. And look at here. Prosperity lies ahead. The new moon in Taurus. Which new moon in Taurus we have, I believe, on the 30th. The last day of this month. So here we are, loves. As we speak right now. The new moon in Taurus, full moon in Scorpio. And, and we do have actually an eclipse, the month which comes in. So starting right now, starts to pick up Leo for you. Underneath we have new moon in Scorpio. Work, work through your fears. That very much tells you, don't be afraid. Because whatever it's going to be will mesmerize you, will absolutely put you on that energy or that place that probably many could dream. I feel here for some of you, this is regards a job situation, could be a relationship, but I feel here it's more like financial wise, which looks unbelievable, beautiful. So if certain things here didn't really work, it's because you've been holding something. Okay? And for others of you, relationship-wise, because many looks in love, most likely like the other people, releasing someone from your past will bring you such changes and quite quick. Because you, you could be surprised many, many times, Leos, that... We could be singles for a long time. And that very much speaks the universe. When you learn a lesson, you will attract the right one. Till you are not learning that lesson, 
you'll just go in circles here and there and you always will feel single and so on. So let's see look, so what this is about and how the things are. Okay. All of you, I thank you for coming in and in tune with these energies. Quite a very strong peak of the energies, which I honestly to be, I love it. Many times they are full moons, which um, knock me out and some moons uh, lift me up. As well, many of you might feel the same. And previous moon, put me very much on the floor. Probably that I do have Virgo in my zodiac and in my moon sign. I whatsoever do not have any Libra, but I feel a very great energy around me. Look at here, Leah. Ace of Pentacles, a new blessed opportunity on the horizon after something here was quite ugly but that's movement I feel here whatever here is this opportunity will move you forward quite fast it's kind of this opportunity is to help you to overcome whatever hurts you or whatever you've been through and move you forward Page of Swords. You've been looking towards it, and I feel here there's something here you need to learn. The universe is telling you it's okay to move forward as we speak right now by Cancerian season, as we have the new moon in Taurus, new moon in Scorpio, which next month could be a very strong peak of all the energies and will extend till mid-July. So pay attention, loves. Pay attention. Here you are. Tower moment. Again, Scorpio energy. And the tower moment, it speaks. You never thought this. In the moment, something here like will truly change you or will even shock you. And for some of you, Leos, it's more likely this tower comes that you can't stay in an energy for way too long. Tower speaks many times about the universe intervention. Wake up. Let's move. You can't stay over there. And still resisting. Because I see a lot of resistance. Judgment. It's another two awakening cars. Judgment is like, oh, now I know, but the tower is kind of like, wake up, now you will see it, now you will know it. Single Leos, especially for you. Yeah, it's time for you to let go of whatever was in the past. Don't resist it. Don't be in the resistance, whatever the universe offers to you. Chariot, for the movement. Clarifying that resistant mode of nine of wands, ten of swords. Yes, somebody here could stab you in the back, hurt you in probably the miserable way. Whatever they do, whatever they promise, it could be someone at the distance. Okay, five of cups, five of pentacles. It's kind of... Yes, indeed, here was something crazy, but it's kind of like you still continuing. It's time to decide to stay in that energy because, you know, I speak quite a lot. Falling down might not be your fault, and many times it's not. Staying down, it's yours. It's one you. You are deciding. So, being in this energy is not really fulfilling you. Put this burden down. Eight of Wands, Two of Wands, Ten of Wands. Tell the universe I'm ready to let it go. And I'm letting it go right now, right here. I'm putting this burden down. And the Tower, Three of Pentacles. For some of you, goodness, you've been 
in this energy for three years, in this resistant energy. So now the universe is telling it's time for you to work on you, on the things are most important for you. That's very strong about the release the negativity. Release whatever you feel low vibration. Ten of swords, five of cups, five of pentacles. Ta M. Very strong. For some of you, there was a job out there that you felt not prosperous. If you loves, let's say you build a business and you know, got bankrupt and things like that. I will say that if you could build something from scratch, now you could build not from scratch, from experience. You know it already the drill. Yes, certain things you need to learn and to work on those, but it's time for you. Crying a river or just taking yourself and move forward. Three of swords, three of wands. Look at here. Three of pentacles, three of wands, three of swords. The one is three of cups. You know, if was a business here for some of you who've been burned out, because tower it's a burnout. If that was a business, you know, friends and business doesn't work. Doesn't doesn't connect somehow. So now Three of Wands clarify, clarifying the Three of Swords. You've been looking towards healing the heart. And that heart will be healed only when you decide that that's over. It's time for a new chapter. Let's see. The advice or the energy. It's very, very to the point energy. For some of you, that's a person here who put you in a third body. You know, that's how it is. Sometimes we need to learn certain things, but I see you here, only you. I don't see any other. So this is a matter of you, Leo, not anyone else, okay? It's only you here, chariot. It's on you to move forward tower and the nine of pentacles and the the justice is you to learn a lesson and to not stay in whatever is there work on your energy because i feel here you will be quite prosperous and you don't want to be miserable for way too long it's kind of like many of us we do celebrate you know, buying a house or celebrate a wedding or, um, let's say, an engagement. Why to not celebrate that you are out from something which try to put you down? Because what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Celebrate that. That is the three of cups here. Raise a glass of wine or even a juice let's say, for your victory, getting out and moving away from unnecessary energy. Because I feel here for some of you, you overcome a past life energy here and we're hitting you quite strong. Queen of Pentacles, allow yourself to take care of you. Self-care is very, very important. And as well, allow yourself to accept the new blessings. Full. Take a leap of faith. Would you allow that or you will not? And Four of Swords, I guarantee you taking a leap of faith will put you in this Four of Swords of I'm calm, I'm better, it's easier now. And King of Swords, start making plans for the future. You see, in the beginning we had the Page of Swords. Now is the King of Swords, which King of Swords very strong speaks about 
You learn, now you apply. Blessings, Leos. I hope this connects with you in a way or another. If it does, let me know down below for sure. Your feedback is always appreciated. And if you didn't subscribe, please do for more content like this. Even it's rare or it's not as often as used to, but we'll try to do more in the future. Thank you, loves. Many blessings. Namaste.